Hello everyone and welcome back to Old Guy Firewood. Uh, today's video was actually filmed a couple of days ago. Uh, we were helping a friend and a neighbor take down a big um, hackberry tree that had been damaged in a windstorm and um, it, uh, it poured rain on us. So we went ahead and worked some in the rain until the lightning started, but uh, didn't get a, a chance really to tape an introduction to the video until now. And um, the same with the ending, I'll, I'll put a little ending on it too, but uh, I think you'll enjoy the video. We're using the Husqvarna chainsaws and Bobcat Mini X and um, taking this big old hackberry tree down. It's about 30 inch tree. Um, but uh, anyway, really appreciate you being here. I really appreciate you watching and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Helping a neighbor take down some, uh, take down a tree that got wind damaged in the last storm. Um, he's got an excavator and uh, that's my son Patrick running the excavator. He's going to go ahead and uh, load these logs up for me. And we're going to go ahead and shoot a rope up in that one and cut it down. Best I can determine, this is a uh, honey locust. Now, I've never cut much locust before. We don't see a lot of it around here where I'm in North Carolina. But uh, if that's what it is, I understand it's good firewood. It dries pretty quick. And, uh, may be good for, for bundle wood. Camp firewood. Uh, Okay, out here with the uh, with the crew this morning, got uh, Kevin over there on the machine, and my son Patrick. I I'll get that in the bloopers, and uh, and Jonathan, and uh, we're gonna take the take the spud gun and throw this throw line up in there, and uh, we'll get a rope up in there and pull it down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a a, a line up in this tree. I'm gonna use the old trusty uh, throw bag cannon, uh, something I built a couple years ago. I think I got about $45 in this thing, and, and it's really kind of neat. I'll show you how it works. Go ahead and put the throw bag in. Stuff it down in there, John, as far as it'll go. Okay, that's good. Now we'll air this thing up. I usually put about 60 pounds in it. All right, let's see if we can get this line up there. That'll do it. Okay, we've got a, a bull rope on there now. I'm gonna have Patrick pull that on through. Okay, Patrick, you can untie that rope now. Man, I, f 
felt a raindrop. That's not a good sign. All right, let's get this thing tied up. Thank you, John. Yeah, for what we're doing here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna base wrap this. Okay, get hooked up to the machine. Put some tension, have them put some tension on it. This tree had quite a bit of lean to the left as you're looking at the video and it also had quite a bit of lean back uh, towards that the wood grove behind it. You can't really see that in the video but uh, we had put enough tension on that line and with the lean to the left and the tension that we had put on uh, the line which kind of straightened the tree up, uh, the tree was going to go right, right where we wanted it to out into the field. Didn't really need much of a pull after that. down pretty good. Man, this is a big old tree. That's a 28 inch bar and it's every bit of 28 inches. Man, look at that rain, John. Guys, the rain has come up like crazy here. Uh, I'm taking shelter under one of these trees here. Uh, those young guys are out there still working. That's 
Jonathan Cutton. John, this is Jonathan's family property. Uh, Jonathan's the owner of one of the premier home building companies in the in the area, Garrett Builders. Uh, they build a, a high-end quality home. Old Jonathan's not afraid to get his hands dirty. He's obviously right in there in the corner. One thing you got them chainsaws sharp, but man, you gotta keep them sharp, man. <laughs> Otherwise, they just they work you to death, and it's not good for the saw. Yeah, yeah, I like them. Husqvarna and steel, they're both good. You can't beat either one of them, good. Got Kevin over here under the tree with me, trying to stay dry. to watch that one. It's going to twist this way. My son Patrick here on the excavator loading up these tops. They've got a big old burn pit back on the back of the property where they're taking all this stuff. Well, I'm definitely going to get a nice jag of firewood out of here. Jonathan has spotted some lightning off in the distance, so uh, he come, came over and told me, time to, time to cut it off. I need to get out from under this lightning. Needless to say, I think that's a wash for today. No pun intended. Man, it's coming down like crazy. And we weren't going to melt, but the lightning started. So uh, we figured it's best to get out from under those trees and get into some cover. Well, guys, I think that'll do it for today's video. Uh, it was an adventure. We all got pretty wet. And um, uh, before the safety police start jumping all over us, I know that uh, there were a lot of things done in this video that probably shouldn't have been done. We were rushing too much. We knew the rain was coming. Um, didn't have my safety chaps on. I did have hearing protection and eye protection, but uh, a couple of the other guys in the video uh, <laughs> maybe didn't. Uh, but at any rate, uh, it, was, uh, it was a fun time. Um, I ended up getting quite a bit of firewood out of that tree and uh, I'll probably see, uh, you'll probably see it being split in a future video. But at any rate, uh, thanks so much for being here. If you enjoy this type of thing, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, push the subscribe button, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. And as an old guy, as I always say, the best advice I can give you is to keep moving. See you on the next one.